Hey, welcome back. So, uh, yeah, been kind of hectic, short of help. Uh, the wind blew a lot of our snow away that I hadn't already plowed, so I got to do a little cleanup on our own shop driveway. Um, a lot of ice underneath it, and I went on my keister a couple times, which is what my son says I do best. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm uh, just doing a little scrape out. Rocker Pat, there, he's like, where's, where's the videos there, dude? And I'm like, uh, I'll get one. And I plowed this morning and forgot my camera. So, uh, but I'll do a little cleanup here. It needs to be done because uh, if I don't clean it up, I'll just keep driving on it and it'll pack it down. And next thing you know, I'll get a mess when it warms up. So, And this is the difference with the uh, plowing right now uh, over the top of uh, frozen ground than it was two weeks ago when we were uh, plowing uh, when it when it wasn't frozen and you're ripping up the ground around you and you're pulling the stones out of the driveway and even though you're trying to get uh, uh, just a little bit of snow cleaned out of the way and there was more at that point than there is now but uh, uh, yeah uh, it's a whole lot easier to plow when you have frozen ground and I don't run uh, shoes and that's what somebody will say well put shoes on your plows well about 95% uh, of all our plowing is on uh, paved driveways and uh, paved parking lots. So we want it scraped right down to the pavement as best we can. So then we go in with the uh, salt truck after and put a application of salt down. And then that, uh, that actually uh, will you know, break it up and, and uh, we can have the parking lots pretty much back to uh, bare pavement in a couple hours once it quits snowing so right now i'm uh, i'm just cleaning up there's there's about two inches or so here not a big bunch you can see what i pushed up the other day with the uh, loader uh, the new tractor the new tractor is working awesome both of course the other one i've had for a while and then didn't have now i got it back again but uh, uh yeah, so the uh, the 4707, the new one, is is really working good. Now, usually when that the spare pusher is here, not here, I go right across the front. And uh, so we'll get I'll get this. You can hear the you can hear the frozen ground. It's almost like a rough driveway, even though this is pretty smooth in here. So there's a, a lot of ways to clean this up now. I can push it all away, uh, and there's not that much actually. So if you watch the blade here, I can uh, I can put it in the scoop mode. There we go. She's in the scoop mode, and this will take what's out in front of us there. That little ridge. Uh, it, it's not enough to build up to run out both sides of the blade. So it actually acts like the nice little scoop. Uh, like those scoop shovels you use on your driveway and you can just kind of push it out of the way so you you can roll it over into a windrow and then push the windrow out of the way but uh, yeah we don't want this to uh, get back down to the pavement here or the uh, yeah look at that and and just like that it's snowing look at that you're seeing these big old flakes coming down so and as I get to the pile, of course, I keep raising the blade so I don't run into the hard pile. And we'll let the tractor push that up once we get a pile. Uh, so this is a... Just watching my buildings, trying to back between the sand salt building and the uh, cold storage building. So... And that's about doing this out here. We'll go out front and I'll do a little pile in there. And that is probably sounds rougher than it actually is. It's not really that rough, but it, it does. It sounds worse inside the truck than it actually is. So that kind of cleans that up just a little bit.
and I see parts of the country have actually started getting some snow that generally uh, it's got a straw blade on up by the road they're getting some snow that don't generally get snow and they haven't seen snow in years so that's that's kind of right, you can see where I come out with the out of the wash bay with the uh, with the sander truck today and then I drop the blade to clean the snow down so it doesn't get built up and that allows us not to uh, run out of room in the height if it builds up so a lot of the snow came off the buildings the last couple days it kind of warmed up and then it uh, and it it's cold right now let's see where we are for temperature so right now we are at seven degrees supposed to get down around zero to one below tonight and that that's where the uh that's why the ground's frozen so <coughs> if you've been watching the national news you'll see about 30 minutes to 40 minutes west of my location uh, in the uh, tug hill hammond morristown areas that's above watertown new york uh they they got hammered They've had pretty much a uh, blizzard going on for the last uh, uh, last four days, and uh, we. Oh, hang on! I got you upside down. Stomped on the brakes. The camera's going upside down. Let's see. And now, for some reason, we're not very clear. I don't know. There we go. It finally got its bearings back. So, uh, yeah, they. Uh, they got snow in the feet. One of the uh, one of the young fellows I supervise uh, lives out on that end, and he had uh, uh, Sunday, Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning. He had uh, uh, 40 inches of snow on his road. He could get his own driveway plowed. He has a little tractor and uh, tractor 40 horse with a bucket on it and a pickup with a blade on it, and he was able to get his driveway cleared but he was waiting for the uh the town to come along and and uh plow the uh plow the snow and they were having all they could do i guess they had cars abandoned there was power outages now we miss that we're uh we generally don't get those big heavy lake effect snows off uh off the lakes over there uh, but we'll get the stuff that comes up the st lawrence river and we're pretty high on on Route 11, we're about one of the, uh, from here and the other town, which is a really weird name next to us is Cherubusco. And that is, uh, that is the uh, highest, it used to be the Rutland Railroad, if they ever looked that up, it was the highest point on the Rutland Railroad, Railroad was Cherubusco. Well, we're just east of that, about six miles. So this whole area, when the snow comes down the St. Lawrence River and uh, kind of, starts climbing the hill here it kind of rips itself open and dumps on us that's a that's generally what we get for snow so. and i've got it in scoop mode cleaning by the road so i don't push any back out in the road and the road crew guys are happy with us and not uh, not dumping a lot of snow in our driveway <laughs> i should say guys and girls we have a we have one uh new employee of the town that's uh, a young lady's plowing snow she lives down the road she this is her route she's on she does a really good job she's never driven truck so here's a good story in itself uh if you want want to change jobs and you and you're willing to learn uh there's a lot of truck driving jobs out there and uh she's taking advantage of that so that's the snow that came off the roof it's fallen in between the building the end of the wash bay here and the apple trees that came off the roof the other day so we had uh, two feet of snow two, uh, two weeks ago but it all pretty much it pretty much uh, was rained on we had two days of torrential rain it got into the 40s and rained for two days so and this is pretty normal for snow in the afternoon up here we get a lot of uh, a lot of late afternoon snow showers and early morning so we we might get a couple inches dumped on us out of nowhere tonight. We, nobody's calling for it, but we'll get it. And uh, 
same thing in the morning. There's a lot of times uh, we'll have these snow squalls in the morning uh, that last an hour or two and give us two, three inches of snow. And we get a lot of two, three inch dumpings. We do get some big storms, but generally we get these uh, two to three, three to five inch uh, little dumpings that, you know, it snows four or five hours and gives us quite a little bit of snow. Unlike the other morning that snowed uh, three and a half, four hours and gave us over 20 inches. So. So there you go. I got a little, little plowing on my own property. Um, I'm going to try to get some more videos up. Remember to bring the camera when I'm running out the door at three o'clock in the morning to get uh, to get everybody's trucks and tractors running, and we're out there working. So uh, uh, definitely going to uh, to uh, get some videos up of that, and then the new 4707 push in some snow, and maybe loading snow on the one ton, and uh, I'll. I'll uh, tell you how we uh, we dropped the sander really quickly. It's a five-minute changeover, and we're all in snow. So uh, thanks for subscribing. Hey, Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, hit that like button as a like button and uh, subscribe button as a present for me. <laughs> we got a lot of new subscribers, and I really appreciate it. Um, I've got a video coming up inside tomorrow. Uh, we've got the box off the 49 Ford. We're going to get the bodywork roughed up on it and uh, going to get some primer on it maybe tomorrow and uh, tomorrow afternoon and then probably Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, I'll put a couple, two, three coats of paint on it. And uh, then we can reinstall it, put the flooring in it, and then we'll, we'll start working on the interior on that and getting the front bumpers and rear bumpers made for Jordan. And uh, come first part of May, he'll be ready to drive that every day. It'll be his daily driver. That's that 48 Ford sitting on a, uh, excuse me, 83 Ford F350 chassis. And uh, we swapped out and put a Cummings in it uh, with a five speed. Running on my mouth way too long. 12 minutes is way too long. Try to keep you guys interested in me. So I'm usually a four or five minute guy. So <laughs> thanks a lot. We'll catch you soon. There you go, Pat.